we're back over here on the same property we were at last week and I had a little car that I was backed up to. I never hooked it. Uh, the, res, uh, the roommates came out and uh, I gave them the opportunity because I wasn't hooked uh, to call the office and talk to the office about the vehicle. Uh, evidently nobody talked to the office because I got my list. I went back and, and did an update on the list and I, nobody contacted the office so I'm gonna back up and hook it. That didn't mark it off the list. That that says six hundred and eighty eighty four dollars. I know, but they don't have anything on it. I don't have any car or nothing on it at all. They just didn't. Uh, they they just didn't tell me. They didn't tell me. I went by there before I started towing again. Yeah. And and it did. They didn't say anything about it. Last time they tried taking it too, and we fixed yeah. everything. We gave them yeah. all the paperwork and everything, and they said that yeah. there was going to be no problem. Well, all, all, listen. If, if you got the printout where you pay for the tag, hey, th that's not it. That's some kind of other receipt. I'm not disputing. I'm saying if you got something with a VIN number on it, then I'll be happy to drop it. I'm not trying to make it difficult. The office didn't tell me. They they just didn't tell me not to tow it. Right. And that's why I'm. The right now. Well, um, okay. you, well, listen. If you didn't, if you ain't already been to the office. I mean, it's basically hooked. I, I didn't hook it last time, and the office didn't tell me not to tow it. All right, because the office told us not to worry. So I'm going to just go to the office and Okay. It's, it's it's not highlighted it's not it's not highlighted uh and if you ever if you ever get stickered walk in the office that way they mark it on list because i've already see i've already left the office i went there this morning and and she went in there and compared the list mm -hmm. and it wasn't marked oh, they right. may have just marked it and they may have gave you extension uh i'm gonna i'll find that out all right okay Thank have you. a good one yep you too. Anyway, uh, I'm going to stop back by the office right now, and I'm going to uh, catch up with them on it. Long story short, uh, we towed five cars off this property. Uh, we've been towing over here for quite some time. Uh, that particular resident probably talked to somebody Friday, and they didn't update the list. Um, either way... I'm pretty sure when it got hooked, when I almost hooked it last week, that they went up to the office. It ain't very far. Most of these, these residents here on this property are pretty good residents. Um, and like I said, this is a customer service based type deal. Uh, we made money on this property. We, we've been towing here for a while. So uh, that girl, she got her car dropped. I go in here in the office and they tell me that that's not the case. 
I'm gonna come back down here and hook that car right now. Uh, but we're gonna find out, I'll find out in just a second what the office's intentions are on this car. Uh, anyway, we'll see how it works. I'll update you in just a second. Anyway, I just uh, left the office and uh, that uh, office manager confirmed that that girl came in last week. She did come in last week and, uh, and brought, she came into the office and brought paperwork in there in the office, marked her off the list. The only thing is there, there may have been, there may have been two copies of that list in the office and the list that they compared to this morning. And it wasn't a manager that was one of this, one of the assistants uh, may have compared my list, the one I had, uh, with a different list than the main list in the off manager's office. So uh, that girl did go into the office last week after I almost towed it. She did go to the office and straighten it out. So I'm glad I unhooked it. I would have had to, it would have been a lot worse problem if I didn't unhook it. Now, either way, either way, it, it happened, it didn't get towed. Um, the girl stayed calm and didn't, she never got mad. Uh, that goes a long way. Uh, how you act and how you react it goes a long way with, with uh, in this business. People are professional. Uh, I'll be professional too. I usually am most of the time. But uh, we're gonna roll to the next. We got another call to run. Peace. I just pulled up to another property. Uh, we got they got something they want to tow. We'll find out what it is. Got to run inside the office real quick. Anyway, I'm rolling in the snatch truck here. This thing's in a parking deck. And I didn't know that at the time. Uh, this particular uh, truck right here, it's, uh, it's been around the block, man. Eddie and Tony uh, broke this truck in. Parking deck impounds can be tricky. Uh, there's no question about that, but uh, that particular tow, I'm not as, I ain't gonna sit here and tell you I'm a, I'm a wheel lift driver, cause I'm not. Um, the boss ain't never let me out of a flatbed. I've been driving a flatbed, yanking cars with a flatbed for many years. Uh, I have driven a wheel lift, I've done tows. I've done parking deck impounds. I'm just not that efficient at using a wheel lift truck. Anyway, we got that little impound done. It took about 20 minutes. Got it back to the yard. Uh, I gotta get back in my truck, man. Uh, I don't particularly like. I don't particularly like driving wheel lift trucks. I mean, they're granted. This you, you can do a lot with a wheel lift truck if you can throw dollies. I ain't trying to sling no dollies, man. I'm. I drag chains, man. Throw chains. I chain everything up, man. Uh, the, these uh. 
these wheel lift trucks, man, they're they're great for parking decks. They're stripe moving. They're real good. Uh, but when it comes down to getting cars to this lot, uh, that flatbed right there, I'm going to tell you, man, my flatbed. I'm going to bet that about 98% of all the impounds we brought in were brought in on flatbed. And a lot of those were brought in double loaded. We come in here running two, two at a time. I run these things two at a time. Uh, that's the only way you really can rack up. Uh, doing these impounds and sitting in traffic if you're on the south side a lot of tow guys uh they run around atlanta man you know how atlanta is if you're a repo guy running single man i'm telling you i feel for you man i really do feel for you because it's hard getting money when you're sitting in traffic uh anyway that's enough flapping i got to get back another truck get back to work stay tuned